Are you currently leading a team of virtual assistants? When managing your remote team, one of the most important things you have to remember is to establish clear communication channels. This is because communication plays a critical role in leading your team. One such channel is through the usage of different messaging apps. What different messaging applications are you using to get in touch with your virtual assistants? For this video, we will talk about the best messaging apps to use within a remote work setup. Hi, I'm Ozzy from the Online Seller Circle where we provide help and support to online business owners. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever we release new videos. And now, let's start listing. As mentioned earlier, we will be talking about the best messaging apps to use within your virtual team. Honestly, there are a lot of messaging apps out there, but we will be focusing on the four most commonly used ones within a remote work setup. These are Facebook Messenger, Slack, WhatsApp, and Viber. The first on our list is one of the most widely used messaging apps across the globe as of late, Facebook Messenger. According to Statista.com, as of January 2022, Facebook Messenger already has a total of 138 million users across the globe. This is probably because Facebook Messenger can be used both for personal and business, which means it can cater to a wide range of users. For Facebook Messenger's usability, it has a see notification, which means you'll be able to see when someone has opened your message, and with this, you'd know whether or not it has been read. You can sign in using your Facebook account, which is helpful and faster if you're not a fan of filling in a registration page. You can also send voice clips. It can either be pre-recorded voice clips or you can record a voice clip and send it straight away. You'll also see when a user was last active. You can also send your location. Then it also has a browse feature where you can search a user and send a message even if the user is not part of your contacts list, so long as that person also uses Facebook Messenger. And last but not least, it also has tons of fun stickers and GIF options which you can use to express yourself when you're chatting with someone. As you've noticed with its features, Messenger is leaning more towards personal usage but it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't use it for business. If Facebook Messenger is more on personal consumption, our next app on the other hand leans more towards professional usage, Slack. Slack is like a cross between a project management tool like Asana and a messaging app like WhatsApp. It has features that are unique to it, which you won't find on other messaging apps. First, it's ad-free. Next, there's no need to use a SIM card to log in, which means that the app is not connected to your phone number, so you can use it on devices such as tablets without needing a SIM card. It also has a tablet-optimized version, which gives a much better user experience than using an app designed for a phone on a tablet. You can also set your availability. This will show if you're busy or away, which is ideal if you're working but would want to be available for important calls or messages. You can set a status message. This is helpful if you want your contacts to know what you're doing or if you want to give an important message that all your contacts can see. As mentioned earlier, Slack is more business-oriented with its serious design, tailored features, and more security. You can also alter your privacy settings so that some of your contents are only available to select contacts. And finally, you can connect apps with Slack like Asana or Zapier. Now, this list has four messaging apps you can choose from, but there are more to choose from out there. It can be quite overwhelming, especially if you have lots on your plate to decide on. Decisions like which messaging apps to use within my team, or what project management software to use, or how to spend my hard-earned Q4 profit. Within our academy, we guide our members with the choices they have to make. 
we also provide effective email templates and templates of sheets, which they can use within their businesses. Regular coaching sessions are also done within the Academy to check on our members' business performance and also for us to provide action plans they can implement to help improve their businesses. Ultimately, we help our members to establish and stabilize their businesses and eventually scale it up. If you want to learn more about the Academy, you can book your free discovery call with us through the link within the description box. We are so excited to speak with you. Moving on, the next messaging app on our list is WhatsApp. WhatsApp is the number one messaging app across the globe. According to Statista.com, it has about 200 million users. Its features are pretty similar to Slack. Their similarities include being able to set your availability, so whether you're away or busy, as well as being able to set your status. It is also similar in terms of being ad-free. On the other hand, with WhatsApp, you will be able to send temporary messages where the message she sent will disappear after a few seconds. Apart from it, you'll also be able to send temporary images for just like temporary messages, it will also disappear within a few seconds. And lastly, we can also send a person's contact details without manually typing it as a message. The last one on our list is Viber. Viber is also within the top five of most used messaging apps across the globe. According to inc.com, it is especially popular with countries like Ukraine, Belarus, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bosnia, and Herzegovina. For Viber, it has features similar to the previous messaging apps we've mentioned. Like Messenger, it also has an option to sign in using your Facebook account. You can also send a message to any Viber user by browsing and searching for their names. And then like Slack, it also has a tablet-optimized version. Then, unlike the other apps with Viber, you can send a free text message to any number, not just users of the app. And finally, you can save a favorite contact for easier access. There you have it, our top messaging app choices for any e-commerce business owner. Choosing your messaging app is just a portion of your communication process. You have to remember that no matter which app you use, it has to be backed by an effective and efficient process. Also, you are not required to select just one app to use. In fact, you can choose at least three with the notion that part of your communication process revolves around the hierarchy of usage of these apps. Lastly, if you're looking for expert guidance on all Amazon business concerns, do not hesitate to book your free discovery call by using the link below. If you've enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye!